What's up everybody? I have a tutorial on Melodyne. Melodyne is for advanced pitch correction. It's a lot better than Auto-Tune. You can't even tell it's working in the background for you unless you go extreme with it. Uh, for this project I'm using a beat made by my friend James, a vocal made by my friend Ramona, and their links are in the sidebar. Melodyne is about $300, but it's really worth it if you want to do some advanced pitch correction. Uh, unlike Auto-Tune, you have to import your vocal into the Melodyne plugin. So first I'm going to solo the vocal and disable the uh, other plugins by holding Option and clicking. We want to capture a dry signal here. So then put your Melodyne into a blank insert slot. It works exactly the same way in GarageBand. It can be used in GarageBand, Logic, or any program that supports AU plugins. You can also buy the standalone version. Not really sure how that works because I bought the plugin. All right, so we got our track soloed. We got everything uh, turned off, all the effects turned off. And we're going to play it back without Melodyne first to give you a little sampling. When you broke my heart, I let it go. Ramon is a really good singer, but say we want to change some notes around. This is all we need. Hit transfer and hit play on your project. When you broke my heart. It's going to capture everything. I let it go. When you said goodbye, I didn't know. I would still be thinking of you so much longer. Hit stop. I'm just doing this little part of the song for this tutorial. Obviously, you can do it for the entire vocal when you're doing it on your own. And there's all the notes she sang. Uh, you can see every single note, every word. Uh, you can see the the modulation of her voice, how wavy she sang. Um, you can you can adjust the timing or the pitch from this exact same window here. Now refer to my other tutorial on finding the beats per minute of the song, and you can uh, set your project to the correct tempo. This one is at 120, so we'll be able to adjust the timing and pitch. So first of all, you have to know the key of your song. This song is in the key of C. So that means all the white notes on the keyboard. All you have to do is move the blobs to the right notes. Uh, notice if you try moving them, it's going to snap. To make it not do that, click down here, hit note, no pitch snap, and then move the notes however you see fit. You can automatically snap everything to the nearest pitch with this button. You can change how much it snaps it. That's a fun little effect. It's for when you're lazy. And then Basically, make everything sound good in your own opinion. You can do it while you're listening. When you broke my heart. Maybe I didn't want that A there. Maybe I want it to be another C. Just move it up. When you broke my heart. See, you can barely tell it's even working. It's very advanced. Uh, look for any wrong notes, fix them, and then I'll show you some timing real quick. See this note will sound a little flat. You can actually tell where she started to drift up to the next note. If you want, you can split that note and set it to where she was uh, trying to sing to. When you said goodbye, I it didn't really sound good, so we'll undo that. After you're uh, satisfied with the actual pitch, you can start doing the modulation. If there's a note that sounded like her voice is getting a little wavy, we can smooth that out. Click the second button over, hold it down, and choose pitch modulation. When you broke my heart. We're gonna make this note a lot smoother. Here's the before. I let it go. Actually sounded pretty good, but just to show you. Just drag it down. I let it go. The waviness is a little more subtle. Uh, here's some pitch drift. We can fix that with the next button under modulation. Make it not drift up so dramatically at the end. When you said goodbye, I didn't know. And since I've set the project's tempo, we can do the timing as well. You can quantize the timing of just a few notes by selecting them. And as you can see, it'll snap it to the grid a little more. I usually don't use that too much though unless someone's got really bad timing. I like it to have a little human characteristic. Uh, that's it for the Melodyne. 
Um, if you want to move anything in an extreme interval, you can do that, and it still sounds good. If you get by an octave away, it starts sounding bad, but it depends on the voice, really. When you said goodbye. Let's see. You can do whatever you want. Uh, one little bonus I'm going to show you is how to do the voice from the game Portal. If you've ever played that, you heard the turrets. They have a really unique sound to them, and uh, it's really easy to do with Melodyne. You want to snap everything to the closest note, first of all. So just hit this button, and it'll do every note. Yes. Then you want to adjust the format. The format of your voice is going to change the, make it sound like your voice box is bigger or smaller. So we want to make it sound smaller. So hit the format tool, uh, select all your notes, and then drag everything up three half steps. One, two, three. Turn our effects back on. At this point, we can have them on. When you broke my heart, I let it go. It's the turret. When you said goodbye. That's it for Melodyne. We'll preview it with the song, and then I'll explain how to bounce it in case you didn't know. When you broke my heart. Out there. No, 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 no. I would still be thinking of you. See, this program is awesome. Uh, that's it for that. One more thing I want to tell you. Um, if you want to chop this vocal up and move it elsewhere in the song using your freshly melodyne vocals. Um, it's not as simple as just cutting it and pasting it over here because Melodyne is really painting over the vocal with its own version of the vocal. And uh, basically, if you're going to want to move it, you want to bounce your vocal and re-import it into Logic with the pitch correction on it. You can either do it with your other effects or without it. So I'll show you how to do that real quick. Um, say I want to put this vocal over here. I'm going to mute the other effects, solo my vocal, I'll just do a cycle region for this. You can do the entire song if you really want to, though. Then you want to bounce it. Yeah, I'm on a computer. All right, I'm sending it to the project folder here. I'm going to duplicate this track for a little easier way. Open it up find the thing we just bounced Oop. now here's the new vocal basically this vocal doesn't need Melodyne anymore it's er it's all pitch corrected and you can turn your plugins back on and now you can move this file around you can chop it up put it elsewhere in the song uh, change the effects on it do whatever you want uh, you can't do that if you have Melodyne on a track, because Melodyne, again, it paints over your vocal. So that's how you do that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to message me, and uh, check out the links in the sidebar. Thanks.